So let's begin with the mystery right here in the middle of New York City. The Brooklyn Bridge is one of the busiest spots in one of the biggest cities in the world. Every day, 125,000 motor vehicles, 4,000 pedestrians, and 2,600 cyclists cross that bridge. Yet somehow, none of them noticed someone replacing the American flags that fly over the bridge with white flags. CNN's Poppy Harlow joins us tonight. This is eerie, Poppy. What do we know? Yeah, it certainly is, Allison. I mean, as you know, this is an iconic landmark, not only in this country, worldwide. This is a place where you think you would have the top security. Uh, bottom line, there was a security lapse around 3.30 in the morning, middle of the night last night. Someone or a group of people replaced the iconic American flags with those white flags. NYPD didn't find out about it, they tell us, until 5.30 this morning when they were alerted by construction workers. We know a few things. We know that uh, there is not cameras, apparently, that are NYPD operated, at least on this angle of the bridge. That has been troubling to some. What we also know is that they, they were all hands on deck. Counterterrorism was there, their intel division, their emergency services division. Uh, I want to play you a little bit of what police said this afternoon. This is not connected to terrorism. But it has a lot of people worried about who could scale this bridge because this is a, a huge feat to be able to do this without apparently anyone noticing. Listen. At this time, it appears um, it has no particular nexus to terrorism or even politics. Um, this may be somebody's art project or it may be a, an attempt at making some kind of statement. Uh, but at this point, it's not clear what that statement is. All right, so a local city council member here in New York City telling me how concerned he was about it. He saw it on his way to work, tweeted about it, obviously then called NYPD saying, look, it's flagged this time. What could it be next time? And that does beg the question. Uh, an NYPD detective, whom I know well, uh, told me, uh, look, it does seem like there was a security lapse here, saying there's a standard, standard level of security at the bridge. Apparently that security failed. Perhaps more security is needed. They were also, interestingly, Allison, able to, we might have the photo, is able to cover up the light that shine from the top of the bridge onto the flag. They covered them with aluminum foil and were told uh, zip ties so that no one could see what was going on. No one is claiming responsibility. Police are scouring social media and certainly a lot of claims by witnesses and people claiming to have done this to try to figure out exactly how this happened. So mysterious. Uh, Poppy Harlow, thanks for explaining it to us. How can there not be surveillance cameras? I thought yeah. they were everywhere in New York. And I thought it was interesting that the police commissioner said, uh, considering what Poppy said about the lights, that there, he believes that there must be some operational knowledge of the bridge. Mm -hmm. So they're looking into that. Yeah. So again, a mystery, yeah.